way to work out. One that truly offered a zero judgment zone. Would you all be interested? Yeah, yeah right? Joining us now is the founder of The Become Project, an online platform that offers body-neutral workout routines that you can do in your own home. Please welcome Bethany C. Myers to the show. Hi, Bethany. Hello. Hi. So, I've seen you in Women's Magazine, Shape Magazine, Health Magazine, even Goop. Every woman probably reads Goop, right? Um, tell us a little bit about the Become Project. Yes, yeah, so the Become Project, it's a, uh, it's a body neutral, super inclusive approach to at-home fitness. We have both an app and we have an online web experience. And I mean, essentially it's 25 minute routines that are sort of yoga Pilates based. Mm -hmm. um, but really the entire idea is based around making sure that you feel good about yourself when you're doing a workout. Mm -hmm. And what I've found is that the fitness industry, I think, really capitalizes on our insecurities. Absolutely. And all the things that we're not. And this is exactly the opposite of that. And this yeah. is focusing on what you are. Mm -hmm. So your approach is about loving your body more, which I love because I believe that if we really want to change our bodies, we have to, if we want to change anything, forget about just changing our bodies. You have to do it from a loving place. Absolutely. And that's your approach with these workouts. Yeah. Well, and you know, something I find is that when we're constantly like, I ate too much, I have to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. um, I don't look good today, I have to do this. It surrounds it with this very negative connotation. Yeah. And listen, if you're doing something that you don't really want to do and you're saying, I have to do this, I have to do that, after a while, you're not going to do it anymore, yeah. right? right? It, it, yeah, exactly. so, working out is a love-hate kind of exactly. thing. Exactly. Like you love yeah. it, but you kind of hate it. And my it, idea yeah. is, what if we just change the approach, right? Yeah. What if we make it something about, okay, I want to give myself some time today. Mm -hmm. I need to get away from the kids. Mm -hmm. I want to clear my head and feel good. Like, yeah. what if we came at it from that approach? And I finally just said, I'm not going to work out for vanity reasons mm -hmm. any longer. Yeah. And I'm going to find a different reason why I want to work out. And it dramatically changed everything. Yeah. Everything. It changed yeah. everything. everything. Yeah. Well, you know, there are a lot of people that won't go to the gym because maybe they're embarrassed about how mm -hmm. they look. Maybe they're too big, too small. But your workout kind of is inclusive for people of all shapes, all sizes, also gender neutral. So what does all that mean to you? Right. I, so I actually had someone recently and they said, um, the Become Project is my safe space. Mm -hmm. And being at home is my safe space. And I was like, that's what I want this to be for right. people. So I really wanted to make this not a women's workout, not a men's workout, just a people's workout. And right. movement doesn't have to be gendered. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so and interestingly, right. yeah, you, you identify with the uh, singular they and them pronouns. Talk about that. Yes, yeah, so I identify as uh, gender neutral or oftentimes you hear the word non-binary. I think a lot of people get a little bit intimidated by this language and they, you know, are like, I don't know how to talk or I don't know mm -hmm. how to address someone. And really what I think is happening right now is we're starting to break down the constructs of gender in a way that also in, in, is inclusive in our language. Um, like I often think about baby clothes, you know, pre-1950s baby clothes were just baby clothes. Like there right. wasn't pink clothes and blue clothes, you just mm -hmm. wore little onesies. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so many things have become so gendered now and hair isn't gendered, clothing mm -hmm. isn't gendered. You can be who you want to be, you can live exactly as you want to live in your body mm -hmm. without the pressures of society telling you what you need to do. And I exactly. personally love that, I really do. We talk about women, believe yeah. me, there are plenty of guys out guys there struggle. who and have that's lots what, of body they just image don't talk issues. About they it don't talk because we're not supposed to yeah. talk about it. Well, yeah, it's and, a huge thing. And that's a great point because it exists across the board. Right. There's so many standards absolutely. that we have set, yeah. and it's time that we start breaking those standards down. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I love it. I yeah. love all of it. So you're married to an, an, an actor, actor yes. that we all know from <laughs> a lifetime. Tell everybody who you're married to. I'm married to Nico Tortorella. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> there he is. Look What's at that. that? Wow. Uh, our, He's, our car song. You guys are one good looking pair. Yeah. Look at them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Thank you. All right. So what's it like? What's married, being married to him well, like? So we met a really long time ago and, you know, it's just such a special relationship. Um, we both are queer. We, we uh, have a polyamorous relationship, mm. which means that we date other people. Another thing that tends to kind of scare people right. off sometimes. Mm. Yeah. But you know. My inner little Christian and, girl just passed out. Trust me. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> the challenge of that though, also forget about faith, is like a, a lot of times you start to care for someone, you get a little jealous and that gets right. in the way. Even though, yeah, you're open to that, it can be hard. Right. Yeah. Well, I think jealousy is a natural human sure. reaction.
interaction and it's Has something that um, you have to talk through. But what I love about a polyamorous relationship is that number one, you've already established the idea that you don't believe one person can give you every single thing that you need. Mm -hmm. And I think also for Nico and I, it really encourages a lot of communication. We've really created a beautiful kind of set of rules and right. something that works yeah. for us really you know, well. It is. You know what it, is, it comes <laughs> down to? Yeah. It, it, it really comes down to there's no right or wrong. Right. right? Yeah. There's no right or wrong. We, we want to no put stuff in a box. Right. right. And we, we want it to fit in a box with a bow be. on it. Right. <laughs> if, if what works for you works and what works for you with your partner, then yeah. who are we to say that's not that? This no, is your right. thing, it's your thing. Yeah. And it works for you and that's totally fine. So when we come back, it's time to get moving. Bethany mm -hmm. teaches us one of their most popular workouts. Don't go away. Yeah. All right, we are back with Bethany C. Myers, founder of The Become Project, an online wellness platform that provides body neutral tutorials and workouts that you can do in the comfort of your own home. Mm -hmm. The way that the Become Project works is every single week a routine comes out and you do the same routine all week long. I like it. So the it. more that you do it, the better you get at it. Okay. So what I'm going to work today, I chose this series that I actually think people at home could also kind of join in and do okay. with us. Okay. But we're going to work on trying to find our glutes while doing a squat position. Those are back here. I know where These, my glutes are. That's your butt. Exactly. <laughs> and what happens is so many people end up missing it that when they do squats they hurt their knees they hurt their sure. back yes. they hurt yep. their ankles right okay yep. so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna step just a little bit in front of you standing hip width apart mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want you to squeeze your butt now most people <laughs> I think okay? I just hurt my knee <laughs> <laughs> and we're done that's and the whole workout <laughs> now here's the challenge keeping that feeling can you start to sit your hips back a little bit and go into a squat you uh, with my be, butt cheeks. With your butt still squeezing. Uh -huh. All right, are we ready to keep going? Okay. Say yes. Wait, you your want left me to foot balance comes on off the floor. The now I want time. you to balance on the left oh, foot. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. I want you to push into the floor, come uh -huh. up just a little bit. Go back down. Do it again. Up a little, down a little. Uh -huh. Up a little, down a little. Now ready? Go back to your squat. Down, okay. down. Now stand up. Re-squeeze. Now ready? Go down. Yep. Now balance over to the side. Okay, now we're going to do it on a beat. Pulse eight times. Go eight, seven, six, five, four. You got it. Three, two, squat back down. Ready? Okay. Go squat, down, stand up, re-squeeze. Find it once again. Mm -hmm. Stay Valid. squeezing as you sit your butt back. Got it. There you go. Yeah. You should You got to do the shake. She you totally got to do the shake. I'm just Perfect. doing what That's she it. did. Just yep. do what now she did. Now one more time. Float over. That's it, and now push. And now we're gonna go down to the floor in four, three, two, and come down to the floor, hands and knees. All right, now here's the other thing that we do. Okay. Instead of going right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, yeah. we do all right leg because yeah. you burn out the right side. Uh, you, you don't have to do the muscle. It. Right, exactly. Gotcha. Okay, so lift up your right leg. Good. Square everything off. Get stacked. And now pull your Get heel. Get stacked. Get stacked. Pull your heel closer to your butt. Okay. Good. Lift your knee up a little bit higher. Yeah. Now little pulses up. Ready? Little lift. Lift and lift. And one of the main things is that strong glutes is one of the easiest ways to prevent injuries within your body. Yeah, your hips helps, are huge. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So all of this, it starts to strengthen up. Ready? Little tiny pulses up and up. How's it feeling? Tight. You but it's right. Right. In there. Well, nice tight, and tight. tight. Exactly. And that right. is it. That's there it. you go. Well, <laughs> well, well, nice work. All right, thanks so much, Beth Thank Nishimai, for coming. So it was great teaching us these great yoga exercises. So much more. We'll be right back.